drum roll. If kids were in charge of picking the best life coaches in the world, are you ready? I've compiled a list for you. The very first one is, let me set this up properly, dun, dun, dun. taking a lead from unconventional teachers on the planet. Kids don't want to sit through classes like teach me how to read, what are the 12 most common things in history, or let me help me memorize the scientific method. You know, they want to be challenged, encouraged, and strengthened. So here we go. The very first life coach would be Daniel LaBelle, life hacks for entertainment, entertainment at home. This guy is energy personified, and he does the most cool acrobatics and fun videos at home. And our kids could learn so much <laughs> from Daniel as he practices these life hacks from home. Super, super fun and funny. Number two, mastering your body language with magic. Vin is a master communicator using his hands, his body language, his instrument, and he uses magic to help bring these lessons to life. If you have kids that are looking for a, an amazing life coach about communication, Vin is your guy. Next, drum roll, dun, dun, dun. you know, just break all the rules. Kids can learn a lesson from somebody like Mr. Beast, on YouTube, Mr. Beast simply does not follow the rules. He hunted a hundred people. He survives a plane crash. He gives a, a, an island to his hundred millionth subscriber. He just doesn't follow all the rules. And this is an important life lesson for our kids because yes, we want them to do amazing and great things. This is true. But we also want them to think outside the box and to think much bigger than life typically would want them to behave so they can take a lesson plan straight from Mr. Beast. The next life coach that our kids should consider is taking a physics lesson from U.S. rowing. There is a thing, a real thing in rowing where if you hit the water incorrectly, you catch what's called an ejector crab. You're just rolling along, doing your own thing, and suddenly you are violently, without warning, ejected from the boat. And it is funny on camera, but it's also one of those heart palpitation things so they can learn science from the life coach of doing something extraordinary like rowing. Uh, best life coach in a kid's eyes might be Brandon Sanderson, how to break the internet with writing. This guy took advantage of COVID and pounded out some master novels and then didn't tell anybody and released them and basically broke the internet. My kids and I actually watched the ticker on the views go up from a million to an incredibly high number of views as he released his secret to the universe. So you can break the internet with something boring and mundane like writing if you know how to market yourself correctly. So lessons from Brandon Sanderson, how to break the internet. Uh, next, how to overcome mistakes with none other than Bob Ross. Bob is the king of teaching us, you know, there's no such thing as mistakes. There's just happy little accidents. This is so important for our perfectionist kids. And kids would tell you that you can take a lesson out of Bob Ross's playbook and you'll be much, much happier. The last one is I think everybody should learn how to cook, but cooking can also be an art. So if you're looking for the best life coach about cooking and creating, you have got to check out Amari. He can do anything with chocolate. And yes, I mean anything. He can transform chocolate into a velociraptor. Not only is it edible, but it is this incredible, intimidating work of art. So taking a lead from unconventional teachers, your kids would tell you 
that you don't have to be boring in teaching and having the right people around you makes all the difference in the world setting yourself up for success or failure birds of a feather flock together if you want to to find some incredible life hacks not only watch daniel labelle but check out the behind the scenes footage it doesn't take him three minutes to shoot a three minute video it takes five to eight hours sometimes of falling and tripping and getting soaked and bumping and bruising things over and over again just to get it right so you can learn about setup and determination and scheduling and not giving up from someone like daniel from someone like going back from someone like then with body language, you can learn to master your instrument. Vin is the king of talking about ma making sure you're talking loud enough so that you can be heard, making sure that you exercise your face and that you use your hands to engage your audience. So important. And you can catch these lessons in little snippets as you, you are studying the art of communication. With Mr. Beast, Yes, it's all fun and games, but he's also learned how to play the game of the internet better than most people out there. Yes, he says he doesn't do it for the money, but he earns more than a full-time income, having fun and employing people, and just breaking all the rules. When it comes to things like physics and science, try whenever possible to take a lead from your kids this is a this is the type of video that kids would watch over and over and over again if they were interested in something like the art of rowing they also would be watching this to figure out how do i avoid getting ejected from a boat when i'm on the water these are incredible life skills and all sports have physics and science types lessons behind them so there are life coaches to be found everywhere brandon sanderson is a master at weaving fantasy, complex worlds and characters, and he loves to surprise his audience. So he is the king of the three no-nos of writing. He knows the purpose behind his stories, he knows his audience, and he weaves excellent use of language in order to communicate messages clearly. And on top of that, has a little bit of mischievousness behind his eyes that allows him to do something like break the internet. That's a win for the kids when they can do something like that. Bob Ross and his happy little mistakes are the type of lessons that our kids are looking for. They're looking for permission to not have to be perfect and to go with the flow as they are learning and perfecting the art of just thriving in life. So we can definitely look for coaches for our kids. Our kids can look for coaches for themselves that embrace this idea of happy little mistakes, right? That they don't have to fall short just because they don't do something perfectly. And then you just have the whimsical you know, our kids absolutely need to want to learn how to do things like eat well, <laughs> but why not make it amazing and beautiful? So that's my collection of one, two, three, four, five, six, seven of the best life coaches out there for from a kid's perspective that you can help your kids just embrace and rock life. If you're a homeschooler, if you're a parent, if you're a teacher, Think outside the box for me just for a minute and in the comments below, drop your favorite video, your favorite YouTuber, your favorite teacher, your favorite blogger, and connect it with an unconventional life lesson. And let's just break the mold of traditional education and let's show our kids and ourselves that there are amazing life coaches out there that can help us live our absolute best lives.